Welcome to my video for DeWalt Laser. There's two models available. This model is a DW088. Very surprised and pleased when it comes in a very nice hardy packaging, which you don't normally get with the other tools. You usually, usually get um, a bare bones one. This is very good. Comes in a nice case, very well protected. Just open it up. Inside the contents, we have the laser itself and additional clamp. I'll cover off additional clamp now because personally, I don't think I'm ever going to use it. On the back of the laser, I've got two magnets which clamp onto there, and that uses the clamp. If you want to clamp onto something that's very thin, can't think ever what that would be. The other thing which might be useful for it's got a screw hole there if you wanted to screw it to something. Have it permanent in there, but they're going to have to take the screw out. So anyway, let's put that back. Three AA batteries, which come in the case as well, which is a nice for us. Have to buy those, which fit nice in the bottom there. That there is for the tripod holding. If you use a tripod, but I'll show you a little trick on that in a minute. On and off, which is um, you can have the vertical and horizontal, on or off. On both of them. Whereas a Bosch I used before, you can only have them both on, so it's a completely cross there. So this gives you a bit more flexibility. Um, it says the instructions don't shake it, which obviously you wouldn't do anyway. It's got a flexible back on top of that. Um, okay, straight into the demonstration. Right, so the first one, you can see on the wall there, when it flashes, it'll flash in a minute which means it is out more than four degrees out and you can't rectify itself as you clearly see. So when you put it back into line, it comes in and self levels. It is a self leveling, horizontal and vertical. Right, quick demonstration. This is a plasterboard prop, which I use for cheating rather than a tripod. A couple of reasons. You're not going to knock the base of the tripod when you move around your feet. It's permanent against the ceiling and it's made of steel, so the magnets will stick to it. Right, so quick click on there. And then if you was doing a worktop, for instance, which I will be doing here and line all the cabinets up. Just line it up. You can see now that line's going across there. Obviously ignore this, this is an old unit, but you can see how it's lined up across the wall here. Across the wall here, across the back there, and all the way there. Don't need to do any other measurements and just keep that like that. So that's fine. Like I said, with this pot, it's much easier to use. So you move it and just it just come back into line again, like that. I use it also for wall cabinets, which I will be done this. Line the wall cabinets up, and you can see clearly marking, which is much easier, much more efficient. And do it with a spirit level and pencil, or whichever method you use. But this is just uh, fantastic. I've used both methods, and by far, this is the best method to do it. Okay, bring in sunlight, you won't probably see it so much, but that's how it is. Quick demonstration on the floor if you want to do some kind of floor heights. So, there we go for the floor. So, if you want to do some skirting or whatever like that, you don't really want to level them up that much. But if you want to put pipe work in or wiring, which is fine. So now I'm going to push on the other one. So now we get crosshairs. So you can see on the fridge there, it's got crosshairs. So you can go up there. So if we just line it up with him there, we can see how far out this old piece of woodwork is. And it's not too bad actually, is it? A little bit out, but fair enough. Let's check it on this one here. It'll line itself up again, see it's self leveling. There it goes. So, a little bit out, but not worried about the trim. Door frame, door frame is out, as you can clearly see there at the top. It's about 10 mil out, but I'll, I'll fix that and put the new door on. Right, let's just turn these two off. And if you wanted to do, which another purpose for this is, if you wanted to do ceiling lights, as in down lights, which I'll be doing here. What I'll be doing this job is, I'll be marking this end here, I'm putting a mark in that end there, over there. I'll be 
measuring across the wall from there to there. It gives you a nice, perfect straight line all the way down. I can't see how you go wrong with this. I think it's just over £100 for this bit of kit. Um, so, yeah, it's all good. Can't see any problems with it. Thank you for watching my videos and all my other videos. If you've got any questions, please email me. Oh, there we go, let's cross those again. I'll just give a quick demonstration. When it's flashing, it means it can't set itself. And when you bring it back somewhere near the line, it will self load and come back again. I just wanted to, to show you on the source pan, so you can clearly see that's out of line. And it's, yeah, it's leveled itself back up on the wall there. Numerous applications it's got. I use it for wiring as well, running pipe work as well, if you've got a long run. All sorts of things, joists, everything. The only thing it's not good for probably is outside, but again, there's the switches, just push them off and off. Thank you for watching my video, and please look at the others and subscribe if you wish to, which would be nice. Thank you.